there's another one down there. Let me get over here. Oh, another abandoned town. I tried taking plane lessons and I failed. <laughs> so I finally found another f town here that's like kind of out in the middle of the mountains. There's nothing out here. It's just a straight road and then you find this beautiful place. I'm going to be kind of going through a little bit of an explore here. This place is owned and I did talk to some of the property owners so I could actually get permission to walking around here and exploring. That being said, let's get into the video. Look at the size of this thing. I don't know if this actually crash landed here, or if this was just put here, but if you look at it, you could see that there would probably be more of an indention here, but nothing is evident, pretty much. Look at that. Let me see if I can be careful with my stepping, but you could see all the gizmos and stuff on the inside. Spring shock absorbers. Now this is made by aluminum because it's the, like, the most lightest metal, so that way a plane could kind of go up in the air. Isn't she beautiful? This was a Navy plane that crashed as well, or maybe put here for sparts, uh, parts and scrapped. I'm not too quite sure. What does that say? Refining octane code. Look at this thing. It looks like there's bullet holes right in there. There is still a lot more that you guys haven't seen yet. I'm going to be kind of going around this other area. I found a church that has what looks like a pentagram on the inside. So I'm not sure what kind of went on there. I don't know if it was some good juju or bad juju. I don't even want to get into it, but let's keep exploring. This area here reminds me of Mad Max. Look at that. They got the whole little grills inside the light bulbs here. That is so cool. I thought it was a Mustang, but definitely is not a Mustang. And look at this. This thing is like 10 times taller. Well, not 10 times, but about three times the size of my truck. Look at that. It's even got little Mad Max spikes. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Keep out. If the doors open up, keep out. All right, I get it. Oh wow, look at the buttons. See them? Little tiny buttons that go on the inside and the red lights. Whoa. I've only seen these cut in half or in bits and pieces. Never have I seen one in this mint condition. I am on my way to the church. And <laughs> look at this piano. I don't know if it still works. <laughs> this is that gigantic church. It's kind of gigantic, it's big enough, at least for me. It's like a little bell on top. Let's pull this thing here. <laughs> I don't want to do it too loud. So if you look at the floor here, you can see what looks like candle stains all over the floor. And right here in the center, 
is a huge pentagon kind of written by chalk or something it's been erased but uh, I'm not a pentagon uh, pentagram my mistake well, I don't know what that is about to be honest probably somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing look there's even still more dried up candle wax right here check out how old this gas station is amount of gas this is back then when the when the gas used to be about like 25 cents or a nickel for a gallon <laughs> look at that chevron gas station oh this is so cool It's like an old garage where they would uh, fix your car up if you had a car issues. It's an old mirror. And a mileage to show you how many miles you've been driving. <laughs> that is awesome. At this point now, I'm gonna start making my way because I gotta drive a couple of miles to making it to what looks like an abandoned subdivision, apparently. So I don't really know what to expect there. I'm excited to find it, see what I could find, but I gotta get there before sundown because all the beautiful wildlife comes out at night and I don't want to get attacked, at least not just yet. So let's get going and see what I can find. <laughs> It is now getting severely dark. I tried to make it to this particular location as fast as I could, but it appears that by the time I'm done here, it's most likely gonna be sundown. But I am presented with this beautiful view in the background. Look at this view. That's a whole mountain in the distance. As you can see, it's actually starting to get severely dark out here. But that is such a beautiful view and a cool little star up there. I did find this whole abandoned, I, I don't want to say it's a town. But kind of like a barnyard. I'm trying to get the light right. There we go. I don't want to use the battery on full blast. Looks like they burnt this side of the place down. I did hear some noises coming from up here, which is why I want to look. What is this? Huh. I don't know what this is. And little clamps and stuff. Battery charger and a battery. Looks like they stored all the stuff up here. There is a big chance that someone could be here sleeping or maybe there's a body. I don't know what to expect out here, but they did tell me, uh, some of the locals, that there was a big fire and uh, someone got hurt or something like that. I didn't know the whole gravity of the situation, but to check out this place nonetheless, but it's in a very desolate area. So let's keep checking it out and seeing what we can see. You can see more signs of the fire. Heart. And is that a bone? It's completely melted. It looks like a PVC pipe. Whoa. I gotta be careful for rattlesnakes.
This is kind of their territory. It still smells burnt. That's what sucks about these abandoned places is that most of the time they'll be here for a long time desolate and then someone just gets tired and just decides to burn the whole place down. Found some other area here. good lookout. I don't want to run into a snake. Look at this rock. That black one is really shiny. Whoa. There looks to be like some sort of sleeping bag there. And a hoodie. And a jacket. And a romantic poem on the wall. God, I hate refrigerators. This is interesting. This house has the window secured with a wire. See that? I wonder if that's to keep someone in or someone out. Alright. Got some more clothing there. It smells like something's dead nearby. Looks like a Bible scripture. Heads of God. Creation. Should I walk to the valley of death? Oh, wow. back handle. There should be another house back here in the back. Not that one, that's like a little chicken farm. Right over here. should be able to get into. Jesus Christ. I thought this was a snake. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if I can make this just a tip bit more brighter. There's a book here. Some stuff here on the floor. I could already get the feeling somebody's been here. Cow crap. Look at this. That bullet hole. some food. Alright, hold on. I 
don't know if these are if these are human bones or animal. I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. You let me know. This is to me I'm gonna say animal. It could be a cow bone. A propane tank. Somebody was definitely living out here. But no one's here. Evident now. What the f are those cuffs? hole in the front of the shoe is because he had a long toenail so he wasn't cutting his nails which caused a hole at the top of the shoe there's another scripture here or writing the diary of a young girl head but I do not have given an account of my deeds to anyone but myself when I was in difficulties you all closed your eyes My dear stopped. I don't want to have lived in vain like most people. I want to be useful or bring enjoyment to people, even those I've never met. I want to go on living even after my death. And that's why I'm grateful to God for having given me this gift, which I can use to develop and to express all that's inside me. Yours, Anna M. Frank. And Frank. Look at this. It's like he, he or she, I don't know. Look at this. They were throwing something at this. What I'm thinking is someone is living out here, either homeless or whatever, or maybe they're hiding out, or maybe they could be missing. Um, I don't know the gravity of that and how far this could go. I'm gonna keep heading forward towards the back area. I gotta be careful because it is extremely dark now outside and I can't see nothing. So I just found what looks like a really abnormal dumping ground. Wait, I didn't see that. But right over here, look at all these scans. This guy was a really good hoarder if he <laughs> He had all this food and then would throw it out. Look at all that stuff. I heard a cat. Come here. I have a soft spot for cats. Hold on. Come here, little kitty, kitty, kitty. Swear to God, I just heard a cat. Look at this. I'm trying to 
see if I can find it again. <laughs> I just went back to the car to grab some food. I actually have cat food because you'd be surprised how many cats I find out here just in the middle of nowhere. All I gotta do now is just find where the cat is at. Where did you go, little cat? <laughs> of course, this cat wants me to walk through here. Jesus Christ. All right. Kitty. Kitty. Hear it. I hear it. Come here, kitty. I got something for you. Come here, baby. Come here. I got something you're gonna like. Oh, she's gonna have a full belly tonight. Yep, she's definitely eating. Good girl. I hope you're a girl. If you're not, I don't judge. I mean, I can't tell anyway, but good, good. moving forward. <laughs> it just got awkward. I got the cat some food. I already explored the majority of this place. I'm gonna head to the next location because I'm a bit distance away from it. Um, the cat should be okay. I gave her like three, two pairs of food and some, some water. Look at these stars. I don't know if you guys could see it very well, but there's a Milky Way there. It's gonna be probably hard for the camera to pick up. But you guys may not see much, but in this like brush that you see here in front of you and that weird light that I'm getting down there in the distance, there's houses completely abandoned out here. But if you look here, right there in the distance, that's a house. And there's another one down there. Let me get a real, oh shit, I almost just died. <laughs> You look there, there's another one. And it goes on. This whole place is an abandoned subdivision that never seen the light of day with that weird light that's on back there. See it right over there? That could be a little security camera, but I'm not trespassing. I'm not going into any of the houses, just walking on the road. They destroyed the hell out of these places. Oh, look at that. Shotgun round. There we go. There is also another shoe here. I always find shoes. Interesting find. No laces, so it might have been just left out here. But they give good clues as to who's been here and what they were doing. If you look right here, you can see bullet holes that go right in and out of the house. I gotta be careful because I am literally not too far from a nearby highway, but also I am in a desert in the middle of just an open vast valley. So my light could be seen for miles into the mountains and I don't know what attention or company that can bring my direction. So technically this is dangerous, just because I'm not sure who I can walk up on, or who could walk up on me. Let's keep going. Dang it, there's another sign. See, I didn't see this, <laughs> where I got this information from, so this must be new. I am pretty sure I'm probably being watched right now. See, they wouldn't put trespassing signs if they didn't vandalize the damn buildings. But when you vandalize and destroy it, they deprive you from going into it. Wow, so if you look here, that has a, a pillar there of wood, right? Well, if you look at it really closely, they took this wood out. I don't know how they took it. It looks like they ripped it out. 
of the wall with a truck to probably bring down the building which kind of explains the weird thing in the back of the building hold on they literally tore down the back of the building they probably took out the same pieces of wood and pulled down the whole roof on itself there is what seems to be a protective vest or high visibility vest and a suitcase this is another house the other one actually is trespassing too Looks like a bomb went off in this places. I was walking out, I'm hearing something. I think it's a bird. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go ahead, go back to sleep, buddy. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. Boom. Easy, easy, easy. There is one more house towards the back right here I want to check out. And seeing what that consists of, if anything, and then moving forward from there. Let's check it out. Last house on the block. I want to see if I could. There's already a sign there. <laughs> now, there doesn't seem to be too much of these houses here anyway. But, oh my god, there are so many signs. I just heard something. Okay, I heard like an animal. So I was checking on GPS maps and it was letting me know that I thought I saw a structure up here. Like another building. But it looks like it's been torn down. So I thought I might give it a look. I am doing something extremely dangerous right now because I am very far from the car. The highway's in front of me, but there's no parking spots anywhere near me. Just a pit of junk. A guitar. A motor cylinder head. A shoe. Some more clothes in a bag. Another junk. I don't know what was here. But uh, it's gone now. And this was going to be my other little spot here. But this happens. Alright, I'm going to get back to safety. Because at any moment I could get attacked by a coyote or a bobcat or a cougar. What is that? I have no idea. Look how sketchy it is walking back to the car. I'm still a bit of ways. I gotta keep going. There's a small light from way up there. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but that little light. Which I don't even think you guys can see because I barely see it. That's where my car is at. This is old real estate property here. Where people used to live. Or people was going to live. But it got shut down. Leaving this whole place vacated and abandoned. Almost there. I'm out of breath because I'm running. <laughs> I can hear some coyotes in the back. But one is not that threatening. But a bunch of them. They are. <laughs> Almost there. This little blue dot right up here is where I was. I had to travel all the way over here to go be able to visit these little, what I thought was houses. The danger is doing it in the dark and then traveling all that way to go up there is what made it pretty stressful. But I made it out alive, I'm good, I didn't get bit. I'm gonna make my way to my next location, which should be the next state over. 
and seeing what's over there. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like what you've seen. And like always, I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.